All right, folks, today we're gonna to do a quick video on assembling the Flywood 04 wide camera sets. Uh, this comes with the uh, their own version or their own um, DJI 04 camera module. Uh, it's a third party, so, but surprisingly it's, it will work or it, uh, it's compatible and is detected as a, uh, a OEM project, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's first discuss about putting the mounting brackets or camera brackets on this on here. Um, I have found that it is very stiff to put it in and you have to be very careful because if you don't do it correctly, you can knock off the chips in the back here. Uh, so I was, what was suggest, I, what I would suggest doing is kind of starting from the bottom of the camera module first and just wedge it in there like that and then we will move your way up like that and that is what I found to be the easiest way anyways but uh, let's first take apart my 85 millimeter um, 1s DJI 04 build and then assemble the new new module in or the new uh, wide angle set lens in that's I guess while we have this off we can uh, throw it on the scale and see how much it weighs uh, the weight is already mentioned on their website but might as well see what it looks like on a scale right now. So this is the wide angle lens TPU cover with the uh, shell and DJI module. That weighs in at 6.7. This mounting bracket and module itself or camera comes in at 6.37. It's actually lighter than this, right? Yeah, you know what? Well, I guess once you throw in an ND, ND filter or lens on here, it might weigh the same. Plus you need to actually mount the screws on here as well. So we'll reweigh it again after, um, actually, yeah, let's do it right now. Just so we know exactly what it weighs okay, this uh, one thing to note when I got my set it did not come with the appropriate hardware like it was missing screws and stuff so pro tip or a handy tip the mounting screws on these are 1.4 millimeter and if you are if you fly whoops you can use screws that comes with your whoop motors and they will fit. I will uh, lightly screw it in here. So we'll screw those in just to see, get a better, better sense of how much this weighs with all the hardware plugged in and screwed in. Okay, so this now weighs 6.52. There you have it. This is actually lighter than this setup. That's actually pretty cool. All right, let's continue anyways with uh, assembling this. I need to take this uh, Mounting screws off. And for, the, for those of you wondering where I'm throwing my screws, I have a magnetic screw pad in the corner here. So carefully remove this. Plug 
this in. through here I'm going to take this off just so I don't run, my, run into any troubles is kind of tight. Oh. Sorry folks, I need to reroute this. I may have to reprint this. Redesign this so this is this one a bit longer, but in the meantime, let's get this it up and see if it's at least how it looks. There you have it. I will have to redesign and remix so that this arm is a lot longer and maybe a bit higher, but so far so good. Uh, try to get some slack in here. This might be okay, but it's, it looks kind of weird when this is kind of bent upwards, isn't it? Anyways, I will put a couple packs in this and see how it flies. Uh, this is strictly, strictly Cinewood flying, so don't expect any aggressive flying with this build. Props barely miss it. So, 
I mean, if you look at the, the two. Profile's a bit different. But it does look pretty dang cool. Anyways, I hope that's been uh, helpful and informative. Uh, like what you see, please drop a like, subscribe. I will be doing a couple more other videos on the DJI O4 wide angle lens kit. So stay tuned for those. Uh, again, I'll be remixing this or redesign this so this is a bit longer, this is a bit higher. But this does look pretty good. That's it.